everyone, I'm Cheryl and welcome to the Sewing Room Channel. I'm going to demonstrate how to make this very basic tote bag. Now it's really a beginner's project, doesn't take a lot of fabric, doesn't take a lot of time to do. Your supply list on how much you need to make this bag is listed below your YouTube screen in the description section. To just scroll down, click on the down arrow or show more and that information will appear. Okay, let's get started. If you would like to have pockets on the inside of your tote bag, I have a separate tutorial for that and that link will be listed below your YouTube screen in the description section. Now, if you're going to do a pocket, you want to stitch it on your lining fabric before you attach the lining fabric to the bag. This is my fabric for the outside of the bag. Now I'm using decorator fabric for the outside and you can buy decorator fabric at Joanne Fabrics and Crafts. It's called Home Essentials. So I'm going to put my fabric with the pretty side, that's this side here, facing down away from me and I'm looking at the back of the fabric which is usually more dull than the front of the fabric. Right now I have fused on heavy iron on interfacing. You can use pretty much whatever you want. You can use cotton batting if you like, but if you use cotton batting you need to make sure you do quilting stitches all over the bag, which is a lot more work. You can also use fusible fleece, and as far as the interfacing, anywhere from a medium weight to a heavy weight. Just follow package instructions for fusing it on. Now you want to bring the fabric for the outside and your lining, and you're going to bring front sides of both pieces together and line up all your edges. Then you're going to begin pinning it together and at one end you're going to leave a large opening so that you can turn it front side out. You're going to stitch a one quarter inch seam all the way around. So you want to start on one side of the opening and then back stitch, stitch around all of the edges. When you come back up here to the last pin then back stitch here so that the corners will lay flat you need to trim some of the fabric off of all four corners so first go across at an angle like this then on each side of the corner take a little bit out and again do that at all four corners now reach in your opening and begin turning the bag front side out after you turned it front side out, you want to reach in through your opening and make sure you poke all four corners out. They won't be super pointed, but you want to get them pushed out as much as possible. Then you're going to go to your ironing board and you're going to press your opening edges in a quarter of an inch so that it's straight across here. Then you'll pin your opening close. Continue pressing all of your edges flat all the way around on all four sides. Then go to your sewing machine and stitch close to the edge to close up this opening. Here's the pocket I put on the inside of the bag and on this side I left it open. It's because I'm going to put a pocket on the outside of the bag. Now this is an option. You don't have to do this step so you can leave it off. So when you've got it folded in half, this is the overall height right here, you want to determine an area in here where you would like to place your pocket. For my pocket, I want it seven and a half inches wide and I'm cutting two pieces of fabric. One is the lining fabric and one is your outside fabric. I'm cutting both those pieces 19 and a half inches long. Then bring them front sides together so the pretty sides are together. Pin all of your edges. Leave a small opening down here, oh about the large enough for your hand to go through so that you can turn it front side out later. So leave this open, stitch one quarter inch seam, back stitch here, 
go around all four edges and back stitch over here. A little tip if you're having a problem going around your corners, just leave your needle down through your fabric, then turn the fabric and continue stitching. Now you're going to go and cut the corners down just like you did on your other piece and just stitch across, cut across this way and a little off on each side. Now reach in through your opening and turn it front side out. After you've got it turned front side out, go to your ironing board, fold those edges in a quarter of an inch, press the entire piece of fabric, and then stitch your opening closed. Now have the lining side of the pocket facing up. I'm going to fold this to where this is about 8 inches right along here. And then I'm going to fold this over. And so this is basically what your pocket is going to look like when we're all done. But I want to put a snap closure on mine. You can put a Velcro closure. If you want to do Velcro, you would stitch a piece of Velcro on this piece and then the other part of the Velcro up in here. You would stitch it on before you closed this pocket completely up. So now I want to just mark, mine is almost three and a half inches to the center. So I'm just going to put a little dot with a fabric marker. It, it won't show when we're done. And then I'm just going to fold this back and put another dot right there for the other half of the snap. You can use any type of snap that you like. There's quite a variety of snaps, but I'm using these little plastic snaps. And this kit, you can get it off of Amazon. When you go into Amazon, go into the sewing and craft section and just say plastic snaps and this kit will come up besides other options. So I need to select the pieces that I need. Now it's one of these, it's called a male and the other one is a female and they look a little different from each other. So you need one of those and then two of the types with a little pointy thing coming out there. Take your little hole punch thing right here and I'm going to open this up and I'm going to just, whoops, that's the screw. Here's the correct one, screwdriver I should say. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to poke it through the fabric all the way so that I can easily get that snap to go inside. And then where I marked up here, I'm going to poke right through it. Make sure you don't poke yourself, okay? If you do, always keep Band-Aids nearby, as I know I have hit myself so many times. So now I'm going to take one of these and one of these, and I'm going to put this through the hole. Then put the other plastic piece on the back, push it in there, and now there's this little tool that comes with this, and this helps to just permanently close it. So you want to just line it up, take your time. I'm a little awkward with this, but I get it done all the time. So now once you get it lined up, then just pinch real hard. So now I'm going to go to the other side. I've taken the other piece that has the point on it and put it on the inside and then put the other piece right on top of that and then again I'm just going to take this little tool, slip it inside, oops, let me turn this around, and just press down and close it up. So I'm folding it in half and I'm just going to put a little crease here for now so I can see where the bottom of my bag is going to be. So I'm just going to unfold it now. Here's my crease. I'm going to take the pocket and I'm going to center it in here. And I'm just going to fold it temporarily just so I can get a good idea of where it's going to go. Now take your straps and you want to make sure you have room for your straps. And I'm going to be placing my straps at an angle. So you want to make sure that you have enough room to put your straps on. 
Then go ahead and place pins to hold it down on both sides. After you've finished pinning, then you want to stitch along this edge here about an eighth of an inch from the edge of the pocket. Stitch all the way down here and then turn and go across the bottom and turn and go back up to the top. Make sure you back stitch at each end. Now I'm going to fold this closed. You'll notice when you're done, you actually have an extra pocket back here underneath. If you do not want that pocket there, then you can stitch up along here. You don't want to stitch on this, so stitch all the way across, up to here, and back stitch at each end. I'm using strapping for my straps, and you can buy this at Joanne Fabrics and Crafts and probably other sewing and craft stores. And I've cut them 28 inches long. You can cut them a different length, though. So you're going to pin them on and decide just how long you want it to be. Because I want a, kind of a different look, I want to set them at an angle. If you don't want to do that, you can still turn them straight like this. And I'm going to go down just a little ways past this pocket here and go in here like that. Turn one in under and then pin it down if you can. This is a really stiff uh, strapping. I like it because it's very sturdy for bags. Then you'll go to the other side and do the same thing. Fold it under and then pin it down. When you stitch the strap on, you're gonna stitch a square that's about an inch square right here. So here's your strap. This is the bottom of the strap. So you're going to go up this edge, stitch up, stitch across, stitch down, stitch across. Then you're going to go around one more time. So you go around a total of two times. Then once you come around to here, this is where you'll finish. Stitch up this way, stitch back across here, and stitch down. Now go to the other side of the bag and pin them on and then stitch them down. Now fold the front sides of the bag together and pin your edges together and then stitch close to the edge all the way down on this side making sure you back stitch at each end then go over to this side and do the same thing. Well, here it is. It's all done. This is a really basic and simple bag to put together. If you're interested in making this as a gift, I've also made a matching personal tissue holder. And also I made a sunglass case. And I made the sunglass case with the lining fabric showing. So there will be links below your YouTube screen to learn how to do this. And also consider making a small zipper bag. I also took a small neck scarf and tied it around it and it looks very chic. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Remember, all the links to everything I've talked about in here is listed below your YouTube screen, including the supply list. So you scroll down below your picture frame. You'll see a section called Description. Click on the down arrow or Show More, and it will expand open, and you'll see all of the links. Now, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and check out my Facebook page. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time, and happy sewing. If you like the Sewing Room channel, one of the best ways to show your support is to subscribe by clicking on that red subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to click on share to share this video with your friends. And make sure you click on the bell so you receive notifications for all my new videos. I'm Cheryl. This is Manny. See you next time.